Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to add photos to your estimate. When in Captor, after you've added your administrative information, selected your point of impact, and are now in your dammit entry screen, you can go click on the little icon that looks like a camera. When you click on this, it will open up the section where we can go ahead and add photos. From here, we'll click on the box to upload photos here. It can come from a, your desktop, it can come from a camera, however you choose to pull those in. We're pulling it from the file on the computer. We're going to ahead and select all of the photos at one time. You don't have to do them one in by one. And you see that they pop right into your estimate inside Captor. From here, we can do many things. As you see underneath each photo, we can enter a description. As you can see, we've added a description for airbag deployed. Some of the other nice features about it is we can go ahead and click on a photo. And when we click on that photo, it opens it up in a large scale. And on the bottom of the screen, you see in the bottom left, there's a multitude of things we can do here. First thing is we can add comments. If we want to add a, a description or an extra comment from here, you see that the description we put as airbag deployed is listed. If we want to alter that anymore or add to it, we can. The next one allows us to do an enhanced view. In the enhanced view, this will help us kind of look at the interior or that photo in multitude of ways. One, we can zoom in or zoom out by using the plus or minus. Or we can say, give me the best size to fit to my screen, right? Or we can go and enlarge it to, to see all, the original size. We can invert it. So if we're looking at damages, we can go ahead and take a look at that inversion to see if, there, if it's a dimple or a dent or what have you. From there, we can also go to grayscale. And then we also can rotate the photo. So those are the options you have at the bottom. If I've done all this and I want to just return back to the original that I had, I go all the way back to the left-hand side and hit reload. And now I have my original photo. One of the nice things about this when I get out of here now, I've been able to go zoom in and take a look, is I can now move to the next section on the bottom corner, which is where I can go mark up the photo. In here, when I click on it, now it gives me the option of choosing the color. So I can choose my color, and then I can also choose the size of the line or the thickness of that line. And then I can go ahead and draw on there, as you see me drawing over on the airbag to show the airbag deployed on the side of the, the door. And also the curtain deployed. Once I finish this, I hit save. The nice thing about capture estimating is it's going to save this in addition to the original photo. So it's not marking up your original photo. From here, you can just go right back to clicking on the, the car logo in the top left corner and it brings you back to the damage entry screen, and I can now continue writing my estimate. At any time, if I need to refer to the photo to take a look at some of the damages, I can go right back up. So for example, in the door here, if I wanna make sure the door handle was damaged, I didn't write it down, I can click on the photos, brings me right back there. I can go click on one of the door, I can zoom in and just double check is that door handle damaged or not. So it's one of the nice things about the way the system's designed. You can flip back and forth at any time, zoom in as you see from the options we had on the bottom. And these are the tools you can use to add photos in your estimate with Capture Estimating. Thank you for joining us today. To learn more about Capture Estimating, go to www.try.autotex.us forward slash Capture Estimating.